In this video, we'll look at how to use VLOOKUP to look up values in an Excel table. On this worksheet, I have a table that contains employee data named Table 1. To illustrate how to work with VLOOKUP when the source data is in a table, I'll set up formulas to the right to extract data from the table matching on an employee ID. First, I'll select the table header and use Paste Special with Transpose to get the field values. Then I'll add some formatting and an ID value so I have something to match against. Now I'll write the first VLOOKUP formula. For the lookup, I want the value from K4, locked so it doesn't change when I copy the formula down. For table array, I want the lookup table itself, table 1. Now, because VLOOKUP only looks to the right, it's important that the lookup is to the left of any values we want to retrieve. In this table, the ID is in the leftmost column, so we can get any value. For column ID, I need 2, since the first name is the second column in the table. Match type is zero or false, since I want to force an exact match. When I enter the formula, we get Julie, which is correct. If I copy the formula down to the next row, I only need to adjust the column number to get last name. And I can do the same for all the other fields. You might wonder if there's an easy way to avoid hard coding the column number in the formula. The answer is yes. Since the names in column J match values in the table header, I can use the match function to get an index for each field. To demonstrate, I'll use match in column L by itself. The lookup value comes from column J. The array is the table header. Match type is zero for exact match. When I copy the formula down, I get a numeric index for each field. Now I just need to copy the match formula into VLOOKUP to replace the hard-coded column index. This is an example of nesting functions inside a formula. When I copy the formula down, I get a result for each field. I'll go ahead and remove the helper column. When I change the ID value, everything works. And because I'm using a table, I can easily add more data, and the same formulas will continue to work without any edits. Finally, Using Match This Way provides a really nice benefit. I can easily reorder fields in the output formulas or in the table itself. In both cases, the VLOOKUP formulas keep working.